Hi everyone, it's Darlene. Welcome back for another card video. Today I made three cards uh, using three pieces of cardstock so that I wouldn't waste any of them. And of course it's with the crumb cake paper for the craft challenge for November. All right, so I'm gonna start with my product. It's the Neat and Tangled Inlaid Squares Cover Plate Die. And I'm gonna cut this die out of three pieces of cardstock, black, white, and crumb cake by Stampin' Up. So you can see all my pieces and the outside frame that gets cut. I'm gonna do these one at a time. The first thing I'm gonna do is take my white one, flip it over, and this is usually how I do inlaid die cuts. So I'm gonna put some surgical tape all over the back. Now that's, it's not necessary to cover up the whole thing, although you could, it would take quite a bit of time, but I'm really just trying to cover up any of the holes so that when I put the pieces in, it'll stick to my tape. So once I've got a good covering there, I'm gonna flip it back over and pick a color. This time I decided to pick the crumb cake. So I'm gonna put in all my pieces. They're really easy to put back in and uh, they all fit pretty easily as far as which ones go where. So for the first color that you lay down on the frame, you need to do the middle squares as well as those outside corners because that is also the second layer inside the white. So here it is finished with that second color. Now my third color is of course going to be the black, so I have to switch every time. So I'm gonna take the black and I'm gonna do the next round of color and I'm gonna insert them. And if I see that I don't have any tape to stick to because now I'm kind of narrowing in, I'm just gonna flip it over and add a little bit more tape. So now I can finish off my black and start my last color, which is going to be the same color as my frame, which is white. So I'm gonna take my white pieces and fill in whatever blanks are left here. And now once this is done, I'm finished with all of the inlay. So I'm gonna lift this up here so that you can see that it's all one piece and it does not fall apart. So now I'm gonna move on to my second card, which is black add my tape to the back, and then I'm gonna start with my white as the first color, and here it is finished with all the white. And then my next color is going to be the crumb cake, and I'm just gonna move in here with the crumb cake. And then finally, the last one is going to be black, the same as the frame. So you can see, because I'm alternating, I'm never gonna run out of pieces until the very end. So finally, here's my crumb cake frame. I'm gonna do black first, and then white, and then finish off with the crumb cake. And when I'm done with this part, all my pieces are gone. So here are the three finished panels. Now I'm gonna add them to card bases. I'm gonna put the white on a black card base, which is Hero Arts. I'm gonna put some Tombow Model Multi glue all over the whole entire back. Now I had a little bit of trouble with my glue. It was coming out not at all, and then it was coming out too much. And so you can see I'll have a problem with this after I lay it down. So uh, just getting it down here, I'm gonna hold it up to where I want it exactly in place. So all I have to do is drop it down and I won't have any glue smearing anywhere. And then I'm gonna press it down. Now, I noticed that the glue was seeping through where I had put too much of the glue. Uh, so what I decided to do was just wipe off the excess glue with my fingers for now. And then later on, I'm gonna wipe up uh, or erase, I guess, any of the, that glue seepage that I have. So once I get that off, I'm just gonna put the acrylic block to hold it down in place to make sure all the pieces are secure. And then I just let it dry like that while I move on to the next one. So I'm gonna put the crumb cake on a white card base, and then I'm gonna put the one with the black frame on a white card base as well. And I didn't have any issues with seepage on those two or the three cards I made before. It was just because I had some trouble with the Tombow. Now I'm going back to my white panel and I'm using an adhesive remover that I bought at Stampin' Up, but there are plenty of other brands. And it's kind of like a gummy eraser, sort of. Um, and when you first start using it, it might turn, the glue might turn a little gray on your cardstock, but if you keep using it, it'll go back to completely white. So it's actually really effective. All right, now I've got all these done. I'm gonna work on my sentiments. I'm gonna make them pretty plain since my background is kind of busy. So for uh, the first one, I'm gonna use the thanks die on black cardstock. And then I'll just put some ATG tape runner on the back of this and I'm gonna use this horizontally. So in a landscape position. Next, I'm gonna use the thanks black on white and put that on my crumb cake panel. And then for the last one, I'm gonna layer them up onto crumb cake. So I'm gonna have the white on top of the black. And I always start with one letter at a time. So start with the F, and once I get the F position, then I move to the R, I, and you can see my hand moving, moving along and pressing down as I figure out where I wanna place it. So I'm gonna also do that with the dot for the I, and then when that's finished, I'll adhere this to a piece of crumb cake 
uh, which is four and a quarter inches wide, put some tape runner on the back of it and center that in the middle of my card. And that, well, those are the cards for today. So it's a great use of cardstock because you use all the pieces and you get three cards out of it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.